Who's this dude? What's happening, Pimpin? Welcome back to Raw Black. Yo, check it out. The hair's gone. You know, some changes around this motherfucker, but let's get right into it. All right, Pimpin, let's get right into the Assassin's Creed trailer. And finally, finally, between this and the Warcraft movie, hopefully we will have a dignified and worthy video game movie. All right. So y'all ready? Let's press play now. <laughs> oh, looks dope. Ubisoft. Fastbender. Oh my. At 6 p.m. yesterday evening, you were executed. Good. And pronounced dead. Fuck Desmond. You no longer exist. You heard me. What kind of prison is this? It's not a prison. Hmm. You're about to enter the Animus. What you're about to see, hear, and feel are the memories of your ancestor. Jeremy Irons. Who's been dead for 500 years. What do you want from me? Your past. Your past? Ooh, interesting. Welcome to the Spanish Inquisition. Oh, it's the Spanish Inquisition. So it has nothing to do with the video games whatsoever. It looks dope. Training montage, of course. I can't with this Kanye music anymore. Like, I can't. Serve the light. Assassins. We are assassins. I am God. Okay. And of course, they had to throw in the leap of faith in the trailer. Where's the haystack? I didn't see the haystack, but let's be for real. That's not even going to save his life. Oh man, what a trailer. Okay, well, let's get right into it and let's talk about a few things I liked and did not like about this trailer. So first of all, it... Fastbender. He's a great actor, so you know that they're trying to put this, this franchise because everything Hollywood does now is trying to be a franchise. They're trying to put this franchise on him. Now, the uh, CGI looks uh, okay. It's it's going to look all right. Um, the action looked um, good in some instances and bad in some others, so hopefully they tighten that up a little bit more. Um, the, the premise, the premise of this movie and the premise of the games themselves, so is the fact that you can, through this animus machine, you can be plugged in and they can relive your genetic memories of all your ancestors, you know, dating back hundreds and if not thousands of years. And that is a very, very cool premise to build a sci-fi movie around. Not in the hands of the perfect writer, in the hands of a good writer, that's going to turn out an excellent project. But another thing to talk about is the fact that this is not linked to the video games whatsoever. And often, very, very, very often, the trap that these movies come into is or fall into, I should say, is that they try to emulate the video game or try to recreate the story, and that never really works out to the best intentions. So what they're doing here is sidestepping that issue completely. They're making a brand new story, so hopefully, once again, in the hands of a good writer, this could turn out to be a good project. Hopefully they don't mess it up. As I said before, between this and the Warcraft movie, one of these two movies needs to pop off and show people that video games can are art, and they can be a adapted to movies even though that's a translation of mediums and that's another discussion i don't want to get into right now but um this this actually has potential so hopefully hopefully everything i'm seeing right now is giving me hope so hopefully this is going to turn out to be a good movie what do you think assassin's creed is it going to turn out to be a bomb or is it going to be another flop let me know in the comments down below if you like this video hit that like button hit that subscribe button till next time i'm rob black signing out